This is Stuff with Kirby. Today we're going to unbox the very first Ada box. It's in this box right now. So let's get to unboxing. So we got the Ada box inside that nice box, all wrapped up with bubble wrap, so no dents on the box, which is great. So we have this cover that goes over the box, and then inside it is this card which had the color, and on the back it says welcome to the Feather Ecosystem. Kind of has the contents here listed. So let's see what's all in here. You can read it. So that's what's on the card. It's got some really nice uh, wrapping paper here. I already cut this seal because I looked at it earlier. So let's see if I can get close up on some of this. So it's got soldering iron. Looks like some thread. Little wires. Really nice wrapping paper. Well, let's open that up. See what's all in here. So, I'll go through the the list here. So a feather. 32U4 data logger with headers ready on it. So that's it right there. And then the other side of the package is our NeoPixel feather wing. For a size comparison of how small this feather is, this is a Arduino 101. So it's quite small. And then what else? We have? Got a USB cable, uh, A to micro B. Looks like a assembled LCD. There it is. It's nice that we don't have to solder any of this stuff. Uh, a little piezo buzzer. Uh, analog temperature sensor. Oh, here it is. So what's nice too is all these parts have the Adafruit part number on them. So if you want to order more later, you know what the number is. Diffused RGB LED. Well this one doesn't have the part number, but some of them do. Short flex sensor. Here it is. Let's see what it looks like. I haven't, I haven't tried one of these before, so that'd be fun. Alright. Full size breadboard. Ooh, it's vacuum sealed, so it's nice and fresh. Steel breadboards aren't the greatest. Uh, Adafruit parts big. So it looks like some neat stuff, some pretty uh, big LEDs. That'd be kind of fun, I haven't ever really 
bought any this big. <laughs> what else is in there? There is. Let's just dump this bag out. Uh, let me move it so you can see it. Focus. Alright, so we got some resistors. More of the LEDs. Some buttons. Make a nice satisfying click. Uh, analog light sensor. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Yeah. I've been meaning to do something with those. Some pots to tweak. And capacitors. And then also have as part of the parts bag some jumper wires. Focus a bit on that. And these are the good jumper wires too. The the ends are all square, so when you're trying to plug in a few things next to each other, it's a lot better than the rounded ones, which are a lot cheaper. So we got some 20 in the six inch and 20 in the three inch. There's also a battery, let's see what kind of, 500 milliamp, so that'll go good with the feather. And here's the exclusive, besides that nice wrapping paper, is this pen. Let's open this thing up. It's a real nice, I think it's cardboard. Focus in better here. There you go. So since this is this box is feather themed, it's a feather. So that was the contents of my Ada box. It had some pretty cool stuff in it. Overall, I think it was a pretty good value. Can't wait to see upcoming boxes and just other ideals people come up with using these items.